Our society has a problem with sleep. Or more specifically, we don't get enough of it. Too often you see undergraduates sitting up all night cramming for that last minute exam, and rather than helping their performance, they're actually hurting it. Now, all sleep research isn't about how we're damaging our mind by staying up. We can actually use sleep to help strengthen our memories. My name is Sadie Witkowski, and in case you couldn't tell from the Miss Frizzle-esque dress, I study sleep and memory at Northwestern University. My lab studies a process called memory consolidation. That's how your brain takes in all the information throughout the entire day and decides what to keep and what to toss. We do this through a process similar to the game concentration. But rather than flipping over matching pairs of cards, we have a plain grid and items appear at different locations on the grid. So you might see a cat in the upper right hand corner and here. Or you might see a tea kettle in the lower left and here. Now participants learn all of these items and their specific associated sound cues. And after the learning, we go ahead and have them take a nap in lab for 90 minutes. We wait during their nap for them to move from their lighter stages of sleep down into the slow wave stage of sleep, which is your deepest stage of sleep. During this time, we'll play one of the sound cues, like this. Now, participants won't remember hearing the sound, and it won't wake them up. But when they wake up from their nap, and we have their, them do the test all over again, they're actually better at the items that were cued than the ones that weren't. We call this targeted memory reactivation, or TMR for short. We're targeting a single memory and telling the brain that it should reactivate that trace and strengthen it. Let me offer an analogy to help explain. Imagine your mind as a forest. Every time you walk down a path, it becomes more deeply ingrained and easier to see and follow next time. The same is true for your memories. Every time you reactivate a specific memory trace, it becomes stronger and easier to access that memory. So our targeted memory reactivation is helping that brain target those memories. In this case, we targeted the cat, and as you can see, they were actually better in that performance. Now this research has so many applications for outside the lab. For example, imagine an elderly person who struggles with dementia. We could use a similar paradigm to help them be able to remember the names associated with the faces of their loved ones. And, of course, there's the obvious example of undergraduates studying for that exam. Rather than trying to cram all night, they could instead use sound cues to help their performance. Now, I think this research is so exciting and there are so many directions we can go. But I think it's extremely important people remember, sleep is not a waste of time. And in fact, we can use this period of rest to help strengthen memories.